What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with some more solo leveling. Super excited, especially after last week's break. I completely understand, though. Sometimes, especially with the voice actor and coughing up blood and stuff like that, I completely understand. Before we get to anything, we do have a question over here on the Q&A section of the Discord. If you guys don't know, we have a Q&A section where you guys can ask me anything pertaining to a show, and I'll try to answer it in the next reaction of that show. Um, this one comes from Chef Boyardee. I think it's their first time asking. They said, hey, I'm new to the server because I wanted to ask you a question. Anyways, the question is, I have clearly, clearly in this world, there are classes. What class do you see Jin Wu being at the end of the series? And if I could ask a second question, I would love to know if you were in the series as a character, would you do the dungeon raids to make money or no? I assume you mean partnering with Jin Ho for the second part, or maybe just dungeon raids in general. Um, what class I see Jin Wu being, I can't see him going a Berserk or a Mage class with like the Intellect build or the Pure Strength. I assume he's going to be much more of a, especially with the daggers and what we've been seeing from him, I assume he's going to be much more of a Rogue slash Assassin-y sort of build, more agile, still have the strength and smartness insanely, but I assume he's going to be much more agile, much more sleek in still gonna have the strength but much more like a rogue assassin it's a good question though and would i do the dungeon raids to make money if you mean just in general i would i'd absolutely be on these these dungeons you know gathering items fame money whatever i could but if you mean when he was asked by Jin Ho to partner with him i don't think i would especially at the time and how they explain it with Jin Wu saying it just brings too much attention and too much eyes to us especially knowing the actual strength of s tier we got cerberus which was not even an s tier monster it was guarding the s tier dungeon but that almost killed us multiple times so these s tier hunters could just so i just would just try to lay low until i fully think i'm ready to handle them so i would not take jinho's offer but i would be doing dungeon runs now because ah, i don't know i just love that aspect i love that it's the video game in me great question Thank you so much for that question. I appreciate you. Remember, if you guys want to see the full uncut version of this reaction, check it out on Patreon. Links down below. We are live on Twitch watching this with you guys. It's always a vibe. So come on over. It, the, the vibes are always great. Twitch.tv slash Dapper Darius. And if you don't mind, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. All the Dapper Darius. I appreciate you all immensely. I'm not going to waste any more time. Solo leveling episode eight. Let's do it. All right, here we go. We got the boy visiting his mom. Cures all diseases. That is our motivation. Completely understandable. The eternal sleep it seems like such an asshole disease. Not that she's an asshole, but like it's not fair, you know? Wonder what he's gonna do to level for him. Cafe Pene. He is gonna accept that offer. 19 C rank raids. What is the condition? No other witnesses. Which seems a little hot boy, a little suspect. It's a good rebuttal. How are we going to get around that loophole? Loophole. <laughs> That would be hugely impressive. No casualties on 19 C rank raids. Is this uh Shah Hayan? Hayan? I always mispronounce her name, but she is one gorgeous and two a graceful dancer. She's getting that training in. Hey, solo leveling. You know what you're doing. It's crazy how there's, there's been so many S tier hunters that we haven't even interacted with our main character yet, you know? Yun-byog-mil. Makes more sense why he'd want to start his own guild, you know? Hunters Association, public institution. Anytime I hear that, I always think of Hunter Hunter. Hunter Hunter. Hunter Hunter. Hunter Hunter. Hunter Hunter. Hunter Hunter. 
Makes sense why you'd want to start one. Hunter's Guild, the White Tiger Guild, the Reaper Guild. I'm liking these shots, these logos. Aim Guild, Knight's Guild are the five largest. Oh, I like those logos. That is very direct, very business focused. I respect it. That's a fair point, though. Really? Mm. No more secret, secret quests, at least for right now. All luck base. Bingo card. Hell yeah. I haven't played bingo in so long. Yeah, the scaling is kind of crazy. We do need some level farming. Uh, title of this episode trying to do things when you're very limited in what you can do you're trying to excel at a rate you can save your mom stuff like that oh mr song after that after everything that happened why fuck with you, Song? You're a legend, man. Is that what's his name who was uh, at the very beginning of episode one? Who was friends with a guy who got cut in half? Yeah. You guys willingly went and checked out the double dungeon. I get that. Not that I want him to die or anything. I just still can't believe he left us in that situation, you know? <laughs> His daughter's adorable. Guild master right here, right? Yeah, that's true. Research paper on Eugene construction? Mm. Ju Juhi. He's still very mentally depressed after everything. This is just a frustrating episode for a lot of characters. I do hope we get to see her again. I still hope Jinwoo gets to take her on that date. This could be our opportunity. Are we going to see everyone from that first raid again in this one? Mr. Song. Do he? チャヘイン。チャヘイン。チャヘイン。チャヘイン。チャヘイン。チャヘイン。チャヘイン。チャヘイン。チャヘイン。チャヘイン。チャヘイン。チャヘイン。チャヘイン。チャヘイン。チャ
That's the island with the ants that we saw in the first episode. Interesting. I would love to go back and see that. It sounds like a crazy action piece. We would need multiple S tiers. It's crazy now knowing a little bit better about the power scaling that they were able to fail Jeju Island with how strong they are really puts into perspective. What would that be? Oh, did they kill Lightning Claw Boy? Now what the hell is going on? Who has to die? Wow. Okay, song. You're going to have a second opportunity to show off your usefulness to society, like you said. Hey, that's going to be quite the reunion. He's like, you look super different. I love both of these guys. You look like a fucking sleek chinned assassin. This is like two old friends seeing. Oh, I love this. Yep, we're seeing multiple people from that first raid. Yep, she also is going to think we're mad different. Mr. Kim and Mr. Kang, both of them ran away. They would feel horribly bad. Understandable. Oh, hell no. What the hell? We have prisoners who are going to be helping us with this gate? With this dungeon? The prisoner substitute hunters? Hello? Yeah, what? On some suicide squad looking ass? Oh, yeah, this is going to go horribly wrong. Hang tight. I love her determination. She has to get over a couple of things for herself. Whose voice actor is he? Why do I recognize his voice actor? Absolutely not, sir. I respected you as a leader before. I'd do it again. I respect that he still feels guilty for that. That is true. They would have all died had not been for Jinwoo. Man, I respect Mr. Song so much. He's over here ins investigating, inspecting Jinwoo. It literally sounds like my room now. Like he's about to take my head off. That's hilarious. All right. Is this where the episode is going to end? It was a great setup episode, but damn, do I want next episode right now. I just love seeing Mr. Song and Ju Hee again, man. Mr. Kim and Mr. Kang can fuck off, but I love Mr. Song and Ju Hee. Those episodes, I'm so used to watching four episodes at a time. That episode was great. Definitely set up for beginning of what is going to be training for a, a much bigger, much greater incident with the Demon King's castle. But like I said, I love seeing Mr. Song. I love seeing Zhu He. Uh, we accepted the deal with Jin Ho. They're doing some head hunting over with Chai In, Bike, uh, which the Guild Master Red Haired Boy, which I like his outfit, the red matches the red hair. He wants to retake Jeju Island, which was a failure. 
I'm assuming Lightning Claw Boy died, which is so insane because he was one of the S classes and he was insanely powerful. There's actually a lot of world building and a lot of depth being added right now that I'm very excited for. Like this was most certainly a setup episode, but it's setting up multiple story threads, multiple plot lines that are all going to pay out and it's all going to be fantastic. And I'm here for it. The title episode of the title was it's very frustrating, especially with a lot of people's current predicaments. And that's why I like that we're here meeting up to hopefully kind of overcome some of those frustrations and work on ourselves together. But man, 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 am I ready for some more action? Am I ready for some more great character moments? Something tells me I don't know what it is, but these prisoners are going to be assholes and we're going to need to deal with them in a certain way. I don't think it's going to be like Dong Suk, who is going to actually try to kill us. But maybe there's a point in which they could save us from a monster and they're not going to do it. Something like that. I don't know. But uh, the inspector who's overseeing us from the Hunters Association, I, I don't, the names are going to be so hard for me. I apologize, guys. The guy was Merrill's voice actor. Um, he's uh, rank B. They're three rank C's. So it's going to be curious how that's going to work out. He was already looking over Jin Wu, curious about it. Like, there's so many aspects into this. It's going to get deeper. I'm curious how this is going to play out, but I'm very excited for next week. Very, very excited for next week. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like on it. Let me know your thoughts down below. Check out the Patreon for the full uncut versions. Check out the Twitch if you guys want to watch this live with us. It's always a vibe. I appreciate y'all. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.